Al Jazeera went back to find out how the town is recovering. And Jonathan Martin is live in Charleston, West Virginia with the latest. Jonathan, how are they doing a year later? Well, David, for the most part, I'd say people, uh, their lives are back to normal. We spent the past few days here talking to a lot of people, and uh, a lot of the residents here, they are using the water to bathe with. Uh, they're using the water to cook, but it seems that there's a toss-up, uh, kind of maybe 50-50 when you ask people, are they drinking the water? Because despite a series of tests and studies and, of course, reassurance from top state officials, for many people, there is still a trust issue. In Bluegrass Kitchen, the crowd has come back, and table conversations no longer seem to focus on what's in the water. A massive chemical spill tainted the water for hundreds of thousands of West Virginia residents one year ago, forcing most restaurants to close for at least a week. Today, Keeley still remains cautious. We're producing our own water with a reverse osmosis system um, through sort of a dehumidifying system. She says trust between residents, state officials, and the water company hasn't been rebuilt. I don't think anybody really feels like they get the whole story. During the crisis, there were important questions that even West Virginia's governor couldn't answer. I am frustrated and angry. It wasn't clear how long the tank owned by Freedom Industries had been leaking the toxic chemical called MCHM or how much of it got into the water supply. There were even mixed messages about when the water was safe to drink or bathe with. After a series of flushes to the system, the state gave residents the all clear. But two days later, the CDC issued a warning for pregnant women not to drink the water. Jennifer Caruz was nine months pregnant at the time. We just got so many conflicted messages and it just made me very angry. After five months on bottled water, she and her family went back to using the tap water. Personally, I think the water is probably better than it was before the spill because I think that at least now, they're being forced to be more transparent. Along the Elk River, Freedom Industries tanks have been dismantled and the licorice odor from the spill is long gone. Although some still worry about the chemicals long term effects. Hoping to prevent another water crisis, West Virginia American Water has spent millions upgrading its treatment system. And the state legislature unanimously passed a law requiring all large storage tanks to be registered and inspected. We know where they are, how big they are, how much they're hold, how much uh, uh, material they're holding, and, and we know what they're holding. We make up to 20 gallons a day. From Keely Steele doubts she'll ever recoup the $40,000 she estimates she lost from being shut down. The company responsible for the spill is now bankrupt, but she hopes the lawsuits she and nearly 30 businesses filed send a serious message. The lawsuits are there to try to hold corporations and people that make bad decisions culpable. And one of the things you often hear, David, from a lot of people coming back here uh, this week is that this disaster, in a strange way, sort of brought the community together. People who were really not concerned or uh, didn't really have a focus on some of these issues, these environmental issues in the community, they are now uh, galvanized and, and concerned and they're uh, active. Many people say they are now even running for office that we spoke to because they really want to know more about what's going on. Now, we have a, a part two of our coverage here uh, from West Virginia coming up tomorrow, and we're going to be looking closer at that new above ground storage tank law. It was just passed and uh, just went into effect in June, but there are already some people who want to change it, feeling like it may be over-regulating the industry here. So, David, we'll have that part again coming up tomorrow. Jonathan Martin in Charleston, we look forward to that. And again, just to underscore the